What the hell are you doing? You think you can just wander around in my potato fields? Welcome back to episode 8 already of this hardcore series. This episode I want to get a beacon, but not just any beacon. We are going to make the biggest beacon possible in Minecraft. A beacon can give 6 possible effects. Speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength and regeneration. And to get them all at the max level at the same time, we will need 6 beacons in total. And that is exactly what we will try to get this episode. Let's start with the Wither Skulls. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can do it. Since you can also use beacons in the nether, it might actually not be a bad idea to first get 3 Wither Skulls, defeat a Wither, and put a beacon in the nether with resistance, since you know the Wither Skeletons can be quite strong. We'll see how that goes. Also we need color for this sugar box. So let's see, hmm, we can do white, yeah, yeah, why not? This is still very shiny. We'll be grinding for weirder skeletons for quite a while, and I'm just curious to see how this, oh, since I don't want to die, before we go to the fortresses, it would not be a bad idea to gather up some potions. I know, I know, it's, it's excessive and I do it every time, but I just don't want to die, and if that's the way we're going to keep ourselves from dying, then I'm all happy doing it. And I said it in the previous episode as well, but this base right here is really getting too small. This is 48 minutes of strength potions, should that be enough? I actually don't know. Why did I do this again? I'm just gonna buy some apples because I want carrots from you. Cookies, I- Why did- I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Dude, you have no idea. My heart. I don't know where he came from. That was a very close death experience. I mean, I know I had, I had my totem, but still, that got me super scared. And that's exactly the reason why I had totems. And I'm so happy with my insanely good gear because that explosion was pretty close. Anyways, that stuff aside, we got the potions. And I guess it's not a bad idea to use my infinity bow instead of mending. Because you guys have said I could just simply repair this with a new bow. I guess here we go. Into the nether. This doesn't seem to be a fortress where we are skeletons spawn quite frequently, so... What the hell? Oh, I thought I had me elytra on. Never do that again. And I'm guessing and also secretly hoping that this is going to be a better fortress. And so the grind for 18 Wither Skulls began. Hello. I'm scared of hitting a zombie pigman if that makes sense. It's gonna be pain, isn't it? Not gonna lie, it's a pretty good fortress. A lot of Wither Skeletons spawn here. <gasps> that's, that's one. We got our fir very first one. And even without strength, it's two shot. So I guess I don't even need the strength potions. And that is number two. Ooh, that is call number three. Okay, it is stupid to try this, but I just want to know, are they fire resistant? I I so don't want to try this, but I guess it's, it's, it's all for the content. It's all for the content. Please be fire resistant. It's not? Are you kidding me? I just threw away a skull. <laughs> Sometimes there are a lot of Twitter skeletons at the same time, and right now there are just none. <gasps> Got him. And then we ran out of fire resistance potions and had to go home. But as it turns out, because can actually be destroyed by a ghost explosion, which is not what you want. But yeah, it is a pretty monumental task. I am not going to lie about that. We're definitely going to be spending some time in the nether. And that should basically be it for all the fire resistance potions. And that's a lot of potions. I'm just saying that. Almost three hours. That definitely should be enough. It will be fun though, if we just, for the fun of it, spawn in a wither and defeat it. It's Okay, that's, that was anticlimactic. That didn't actually work. We were slaying him. It's quite weird to me that gathering up the skulls is harder than defeating the boss itself. Like, I don't know. Just like that, our very first beacon isn't that beautiful. I think it's beautiful. We will make the most pathetic beacon ever. But yeah, we basically gotta do this six more times. Five more times, actually. Also, I'm curious to see how good this fortress is. So we could do some hunting right here, right? This fortress might even be better. I'm not even gonna lie. What? Look at that. That's insane. I've never seen that many skeletons in one place. And that's just one skull right there.
I really appreciate my OP armor. You have no idea. Oh, that's the second skull. Very nice. You think you can outrun me, huh? On soul speed? Mm, no, I don't think I can run circles around you. Yes, that's that's what I can do. <laughs> Don't be freaking out. I'm just realizing how much pain it's going to be to sort out all this footage. That's skull number three though. 206 and I've got six skulls. That is 2.91% chance. Oh, actually that's not true. We got seven skulls. I just threw one in the fire. That is skull number four. Number five, just like that. Skull number six. Look at that, they just keep spawning in masses. Number seven, that was also really quick. Why do I, when I see a little one, I always get the urge to just hit him? Is that weird? Number eight. Number nine. Is it weird to say that it is kind of chill to do this? Like you're just fighting. I'm not really scared of dying because I got really good armor. I got a totem, so you know. And I'm just, you know, listening to this music, slaying them skeletons. I'm just bullying the blazes. They deserve it. For some reason, oh, that's <laughs> Wither Skeleton number 10. For some reason, there's always a Wither Skeleton right here. Like, I, I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 two skulls, just there. What the hell? That's the most luck I've been today. Hmm. What you guys hiding there, huh? Oh no! They, they do be fighting each other. Go get him. Go get him. Yes. Now drop me your skull. Fight! 13. And it'll be the fucking 14. One left. They truly should have an effect on the beacons. No creeper spawning. Oh, that was number 15. 15 skulls. It's time to get home. Uh, I do wonder if we have enough soul sand though. And I'm curious to see how many Wither Skeletons we killed. 439. That's quite a lot. Whatever, we're just doing it here. I hope he doesn't come into caves and stuff like that because that would be bad. Here we go. No! No fight! What? He's not supposed to do that! Mistakes have been made. Okay, that was not chill. Not cool. Gotta be careful with that next time. Just like we gotta be careful with that too, because that's not cool. And hopefully this time no surprises. That, that, that'd be nice, you know? That went very smooth. With their number three. Actually four. Yep, that's the wither. But if you have been paying attention, you would know I only have killed five wither so far. I'm just really debating whether I should kill the wither the cool way or not. Yes, it could be really awesome. No, because you can die. What the hell are you guys doing here? But I guess the last wither we have to wait since we have the bad omen effect already. We can first go to the raid for my guess. <coughs> yeah, this system's gonna be overflowing real quick. No, I... Uh, <laughs> Not my pickaxe is in there. Oh help. We're going to need a lot of emeralds. Hopefully you get some gunpowder as well. Let's take a look how much we got. We got quite some emeralds, not gonna lie. Hey, 33 gunpowder, that's not too bad. Die. You know what we should do? We should get a cow here. That's what we should do. Let's see how much emerald blocks we already have. Okay, turns out we need 244 blocks. Yeah, that's not quite kinda got it. We need one and a half stack more, I guess. Then you reach a moment where this is just full. We should still make an automatic throwaway system. Because let's be honest, five shulker boxes full of totems is all we need at this moment. Break all this. We're not gonna need that anyways. Never thought I'd be burning totems, but yet here we are. This is harder than I thought. Redstone is complicated, you know? But we have quite some more emeralds together, so let's do just that. Okay, and I think that's going to be the final raid. And after that, we indeed had enough emeralds. But before we defeat the Lost Waiter, we need to do one more thing. We should get a cow up here so we do not have any problems with the milk. So let's go find some cows. Now the question is, how are we going to get him up here? That's a reasonable question right here. Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna test this. 
No. So I guess we are going to tower up instead. And hopefully that works. Why didn't I push him in, in the elevator? So sad. Let's try that again. You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. In the boat you go. It's all gonna be okay. Can we push him into the elevator? Because that would be nice. Maybe not. No. Maybe yes. Don't fall down. Please. Just don't. And now we basically have unlimited milk. I totally forgot we need to defeat one more wither. And we have some gunpowder, so I guess we're just gonna try it. And this should definitely be enough rockets to fight the wither. But to be honest, I am quite nervous. I should actually use my axe instead of my sword. Just because the smite 5 on it. Let's find a good place for him to spawn. We can also spawn him in the middle of the ocean, which honestly is not a bad idea. Or on an island like that. Hmm. Let's just spawn this guy in. Fight with me, you peasant. I can't I can't seem to hit him. That's that's the problem here. We are getting hit some now. Now we are getting him slowly, but surely. He is almost done for. One more hit, I think one more hit. Yes, yes, yes. Did I get the star? I got the star. We absolutely done it. Okay, that, that was sick. Not going to lie. That was that was very scuffed at the beginning, but it worked out somehow. Right, excellent boy. I would gladly take the iron. Island is kind of destroyed by the wither. Let's head home with our lost beautiful nether star. Now let's craft up the beacons. Six beacons and that looks weird. Imagine just having a floor out of these. Anyways, with the beacon scattered up and all the blocks as well, it is time to now place the beacon. But instead of just placing it and call it a day, I kind of want to come up with a cool design for it. And I think I want to go for a ruined, overgrown type of style since I think that will fit in with my base. Not sure exactly how I want to do it, but that is kind of the idea. And of course, one thing that cannot be missing, where the hell is my moss? <gasps> A wandering trader. Okay, okay. Please have something good for me. I know you have something good for me. Just give it to me, please. Yes. You know what? I'll get the brown dye. Because it's quite hard to get, I think. So that's the only reason you're alive. Okay, brown dye we got, I guess. Are you gonna keep making those noises? Because that's quite annoying. Can you stop? I don't want to make it like super big or anything, but I just want it to look good. Hmm... I want to place glass right here so we can change the color of the beacon as well. It's going to be the middle. We can definitely make something out of this. And now, of course, we need to place all the emerald blocks beneath it. Ooh. This is, I think, the biggest beacon I've ever made. I've made a six double beacon before, but not a platform for nine beacons, basically. And that should be a four-layer beacon, if I'm correct. Speed 2, haste 2, resistance, strength for regeneration. For one second, we must... Oh! Oh! Okay, for one second, we have must have to jump boost as well. Now we have all the effects. I'm just gonna remove this one. I don't really care about jump boost. And it's nice to have, like, a spare beacon. I think this is a pretty good start to work with. I love to work with this because it has so many different variations. It's perfect, honestly. Okay, I would be lying if I said I didn't like this because I do. It's just so simple and small, but I like it a lot. Okay, I guess now it's time to bring in the greenery. I want to get those leaves because I think they look quite cool. I kind of like the vibe. I don't say it often, but I am pretty proud of this build. Like, it completely nails the vibe I had in mind. It simply looks amazing, doesn't it? Okay, so a few more things I wanted to do this episode. Eat a golden carrot. 
secondly, I would surely want a silk touch diamond hoe. And also, I'm gonna enchant my shears. Okay. What's up? I, I don't even know anymore. They just keep spawning. They, they spawn twice every episode now. I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm gonna figure out what to do with this area because I kind of don't know. What, but, 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 what do you think you're doing? Oh, this is small drip leaf stuff. This is insane. You're the best wandering villager a man could have hoped for. Man, I, I needed this. So clutch diamond hoe. Oh, you can actually put efficiency on this? Now I'm concerned. We have made some serious progress. I am insanely happy with this maximum beacon. We have to start thinking about a bigger base. And my idea was that we clear out this hill and make a bigger house on top of it. Like not insanely big, but just reasonable size, you know? It's not gonna be a mega base yet, but like a base before you make a mega base, if that makes sense. And I had the idea of making a cave beneath it with all the farms in it. Like we could have creeper farms, sugarcane farm, pumpkin and melon farms. It's every sort of automatic farm we could have in the cave. But I think that could be quite cool. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I really hope you enjoyed this one. I did. Goodbye.